First of all, can you just tell me a little bit about what it was like living with a badly arthritic hip? Well, it was, it was awful, it was very painful, and it was very sudden onset, actually. I'd been fine, and then suddenly, on the 28th of December, nearly two years ago, I woke up and I couldn't move. So it was very, it was quite dramatic. And I was going off to New Zealand on the 1st of January, and I thought, oh, it'll be all right. <laughs> and by the time I got to Singapore, I couldn't move. I got to New Zealand and I was totally immobile, really, for four weeks. So I sat on this very lovely deck, which was very nice, but couldn't do all the walking because I'm a walker. So I went to see a GP there and they didn't know what it was. And I realised, actually, I took loads of codeine and that somehow <laughs> managed to get me through the day. But it was very painful. And then I came back, saw my GP and had the x-ray and it said it was severe. And what did that stop you from doing day to day then, apart from the walking? I really didn't want it to stop me doing anything too much. I could still walk the dog, but not very far. Um, but it was painful. And so what made you consider an operation? I went through the old uh, GP system and they um, referred me for physio to the muscular skeletal clinic who were very good actually. What they do is they give you physio to start with. I saw a physio who said, well, well, yeah, you know, you could have surgery, but I wouldn't have surgery, for, you know, too soon if I were you. And I remember going home thinking, this is ridiculous. I don't want to, you know, I'm actually fit. I need, if I'm going to have this done, I need to have it done now. So I rang my GP and I said, I want a hip replacement. And she said, well, if I were you, so would I. And can you tell me a little bit about your experience of going through the system, the sort of patient pathway through Claremont, what that, what that was like? You are an outstanding service. The service you provide is fantastic. So end-to-end, -end, you know, from referral and people actually making appointments for me and coming to see you, um, seeing physios and coming to have surgery, everything was... I couldn't have asked for anything better. Thank you. Yeah. What was it like when you were in hospital? I woke up feeling very tired but, rel but fine, you know, and, and I suppose the really important thing after after you've had that kind of surgery, you need to feel safe and secure. And I felt very safe and secure here and very, very looked after. Challenged because, you know, I had to get up and, and start moving about, and, which was a very good thing. So what would you say to anybody who was thinking about having a hip replacement? I'd say absolutely have it done. Absolutely, no doubt about it, have it done and, obvious, and come here. But I think the really important thing is that it's a partnership, isn't it? You, of course, are utterly brilliant and fantastic, as indeed are your all, you know, ev all the support around you, the, the physios, the nursing staff, everybody. But actually, ultimately, it's down to me, <laughs> you know. And if I don't work hard, post-operatively, then I'm not going to, you know, reap the benefit, am I? Don't get too anxious about it because everybody here is here to look after you and keep you safe, which they do, and which is wonderful, and then work hard on your own, on your own recovery because it's down to you. So thank you.